everybody. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, December 7th, 75th anniversary of uh, Pearl Harbor. Uh, just wanted to remind everybody of that. Uh, wanted to show you a couple of guns right here. Uh, a rifle and a pistol to start off with because this is going to lead me up to uh, the next uh, rifle I'm going to show you after I show you this and Linda Lou. You guys have seen this, the 1911. I've been carrying it here in the 1441 gear um, in the waistband holster. And then, of course, you guys have all seen uh, Linda Lou at one time or another in some of the videos. Uh, quite a few people have got to shoot this and uh, really enjoyed it. At least I think they did. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is one here. According to uh, the serial number for the receiver, is 76 years old. It was made in 1940. So, uh, not to keep you guys too long, I was talking to uh, a friend of mine, Pat Case, who lives here in the local area. Uh, known him for a while now. Uh, talking back and forth on uh, on Facebook. He doesn't do videos, okay? But he's on Facebook, and I'll try to find a link, link for his page and put it down below. You guys go check him out. He's a really great guy, awesome, awesome dude. Um, anyway, he, uh, he picked up a rifle, and he wanted me to do a little bit of a review on it. And I told him, well, I'll kind of do a, you know, tabletop review and then, and then a shooting review. I wanted him to kind of go with me, but he said, no, Go ahead and do it, you know, because he likes to watch my videos and, uh, you know. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show this to you real quick. You guys are going to love this one because this is one of those uh, those rifles that I would love to have right now. Believe me, if I can get my hands on one one of these days, I would definitely give up at least three guns in my little collection uh, just for this right here. And Rich 4150 and... Chuck, my hollow point, can tell you all about this little beauty right here. Uh, this is the uh, SOCOM 16. So you can see right there on the receiver, or actually the, the bolt. But anyway, uh, yeah, SOCOM 16. You got the uh, scout rail on here. Put a red dot, you know, or a scope. Uh, got the little ported uh, comp on the end there. Chambered in uh, 762 by 51, 308 NATO, and I think this uh, the M1A was actually I think developed after uh, the M1 had seen uh, better days of its service because they needed something that could hold uh, more ammunition and uh, also compete I guess with the AK-47. So what do you get the M1A, which uh, Eventually was phased out for the uh, M16 because it, the M1A it was pretty heavy. But this one, the shortened version here, I think the barrel is 16 and a quarter inches long. This one only ro rolls in at 8.8 .8 pounds. You know that's that's not bad for this type of rifle. I don't know what the recoil will be like on it, but it'll be fun trying it out. Uh, takes 10 round mags. Got a 20 in it right now. One of Pat's. And also, I think PMAG makes 25 rounders. I'll have to check, but I think I think they do. Um, this one is just a metal GI style box magazine right here. Uh, flip up butt pad where you can put uh, cleaning kit, all that good stuff here in the in the stock. Uh, I mean, this thing. I tell you what, Pat, you you did an awesome job getting this. This thing is a is a beauty right here. Um, Man, I tell you, I can't wait to go out and shoot. I'm going to take it next week and go shooting. I'm hoping by then I have uh, that uh, lighter spring for the Glock 19 C in. Maybe do a little shooting with that, too. Just make it a day, you know, having fun getting this on video. Uh, got a nice uh, nice ghost ring rear sight, and it has a tritium insert in the front sight post, which is kind of hard to show you guys, but, yeah, I mean, <laughs> man... Yeah, I would definitely give a left nut for this. <laughs> no shit. I mean, this thing is uh, this thing's beautiful. Feels good in the hand, and uh, you gotta you gotta love that uh, style. You know, it's just awesome. I'm not exactly sure what they call the the uh, stock on this. I think it's like a polymer style stock. 
I know some have that Hogue rubberized stock on it, and I hear they can stick to you, you know, your clothes and stuff, you know, kind of make it hard to, you know, some of that stuff. But, oh man, I tell you, this this baby is, is awesome. Pat, thank you very much for letting me uh, do a review on this. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I'm going to take care of it just like if it was mine, and it's definitely going to be taken very good care of for about a week. And then I'll have to give it back to you, and I'll be crying when I leave after giving it to you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, get a chance to go out and shoot that. It'll be the uh, thrill of, I don't know, for me for quite a while. So, anyway, you guys, you stay armed, you stay safe, and we will talk to you later.